Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand today and thinking about this in, in a position I didn't think I'd have to do in this House, and it is to condemn another country for what they're doing to their neighboring country. It is Pu Putin who is a dictator, an awful, awful dictator, sending troops into a free and democratic society where many across Saskatchewan have their roots. We look around, we listen to the members that, that have roots in, in Ukraine, where their families came from. I take a look at my wedding party where, where two of my uh, groomsmen were two generations away from coming from the Ukraine. I take a look at South Hill, the neighborhood I uh, represent in Moose Jaw. It is uh, a huge Ukrainian population. I have both the Ukrainian uh, Catholic Orthodox Church and a another Ukrainian church, both in my riding. A huge Ukrainian family right there. They, uh, I, I hear stories of how they used to have suppers at least once a month, and people from all over Moose Jaw would gather to these churches and, and partake in, in what we all thought were Saskatchewan foods, our, our progies, our, our uh, sausage, our, our cabbage rolls. It is absolutely horrible what's happening there. We don't even have to watch it on the news. We can go to a Twitter feed. We can go to a, a Facebook feed. I was watching an online, uh, online news channel this morning, and he's not just fighting the soldiers. He's bombing civilians. He's trying to take out bridges that are the way out for these people in Ukraine. 1.5 million people have already left the country. So think about that. That is our province emptying out and more empty what is it 14 percent we said uh, of saskatchewan's people have ukrainian descent we all have ukrainian friends this hits us hard in the heart this hits us it hits our families it hits our friends and it hits us here in this house it is not often that both sides of this house will agree on a motion. And we're both wholeheartedly standing behind this motion, seeing what we can do to stand up for our friends in Ukraine. You take a look at just the human trage tragedy that is happening over there right now, as we speak. Their legislators are taking up arms. I look around the house and, and I wonder if we would be able to do that. We, we have young families here. We have people with little children. We, we, have, uh, we have a lot of folks that uh, I know would stand up, but right there, they were, they were handing out weapons to their civilians to stand up to Russia's onslaught. They haven't forgotten what it was like for life under Russia and the other dictators that run there. And, and I agree with my colleagues, it's not the Russian people. It is a few in the Russian government. I am glad for what our federal government is doing, stepping up and putting sanctions in place against uh, Russian products. I would like to see more. All Russian products stop from coming here until this conflict is over. I take a look around what we've done in our province already and wonder what can we do more. We're, we're sending funds from uh, our taxpayers over there, matching as well, and we take a look at the heartfelt response for people across this province. They step up, they give. I, I think of some of the emails that have come into my office, Mr. Speaker. I had a retired military gentleman that I've known for years, since my time in Estevan who has now retired from the 
from uh, the military who's opened up his home to uh, Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian refugees. I've had people emailing my office wondering what else they can do, whether or not they can go over there and, and help support the Ukrainian people. Mr. Speaker, we all pray for the Ukrainian people. We all hope for the best. This dictator, this, I, I, I don't even want to call him a person. This, this thing that's running Russia, you think of the disgust that the world has for this man right now. And you take a look around here and we're in unison, in solidarity, and I'm I am so happy to see that this House together, together will stand against what uh, Putin represents and for the atrocities committed in Ukraine right now. It is absolutely horrible what's going on there. I, I can't state that enough. The pictures you see, the newscasts we see, it is... It is, it is a strain on our souls, thinking of the people fighting over there. I will stand in full support with the motion that the Premier put forward, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the people of Moose Jaw Waccamaw for giving me this opportunity to speak in support of the Ukrainian people. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Here, here.